I'm Michael Smith of MedPage Today, and I'm in Rome at the meeting of the International AIDS Society where the buzz is about pre-exposure prophylaxis that several studies are showing can prevent the transmission of HIV. I'm with Dr. Michael Thigpen of the CDC, who is the principal investigator of one such study dubbed TDF2, which took place in Botswana. Dr. Thigpen, welcome to MedPage Today. Thank you very much. Let me ask you first what the goal of the study was. What were you trying to do? So this is really an exciting time for us because our study showed that use of medication called Truvada could be used to prevent HIV negative young adults from getting HIV. So our study, we enrolled over 1,200 men and women in Botswana from two sites and they were randomly assigned to either receive either Truvada or placebo pill and we followed those people for at least 12 months, uh, monitored their infection rates and uh, determined that Truvada was able to reduce uh, the number of people from getting infected by over 63 percent. Now the interesting thing, there have been a couple of trials looking at this kind of thing in, in men and women, um, but mostly they were in, in, in couples so-called discordant couples where one person is infected and the other is not. Clearly the risk in that situation is very high. So uh, the population we used in Botswana was uh, based in part on the high rates of HIV in the country where people uh, who are sexually active in Botswana have very high rates of, of contracting HIV. And we're, we have a very close relationship with the Botswana Ministry of Health who has a very strong history of taking uh, prevention strategies and applying them uh, across the country. So our particular population was the general population. And compared to the uh, discordant couples studies where one person is positive and one is negative, our population, the only risk factor was they had to report having a sexual episode one time within the preceding three months. So it wasn't, it wasn't a case of they were having regular sex with their partner who was infected. Correct. This is, there's a relatively high background rate of HIV, so you get 62% reduction. Would you expect to see a similar kind of reduction um, in, in, in a place with a lower prevalence? Well, that's something that is being uh, actively looked at. Each of these studies uh, involves high-risk populations. Uh, in the IPREX study, which released results last year, it was among men who have sex with men, which is the primary driver of the HIV epidemic in many uh, other countries. Uh, the Partners Prep study, conducted by the University of Washington, which is also presenting results during this particular meeting, uh, used discordant couples um, to look at uh, whether pre-exposure prophylaxis could be used to prevent HIV. And so our population uh, was uh, looking also at heterosexual transmission because in Southern Africa, that's the largest driver of the HIV epidemic. Okay, and you, you, so you hinted at some of the context, and that is that your study, um, a, a, a fairly dramatic reduction in risk, is one of several. What is this telling us about the uh, approaches to the pandemic, which is of course still raging in many parts of the world. So this is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a very exciting time uh, in HIV prevention. Uh, about four years ago, we had very few tools in our toolbox to be able to prevent HIV among adults. Uh, at that time, uh, circumcision studies came out showing that male circumcision could reduce HIV transmission by over 50%. Now with the, the IPREX study among men who have sex with men, the Caprisa study from last year that showed that uh, oral, uh, uh, pardon me, uh, topical uh, tenofovir gel applied around the, uh, at the time of uh, the sexual episode could reduce HIV. Our studies, uh, the CDC study and the Partners Prep study by University of Washington has shown that 
an oral pill can now prevent HIV infection among heterosexuals. And that makes it a very uh, exciting uh, factor because now women who may not be able to negotiate using condoms with their partner or may not know their partner's status can take more of a role in preventing HIV for themselves by, by using this, this medication. So as you say, an optimistic time here at, uh, in Rome. In Rome, I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.